Hi guys, today is another day and uh, I really give thanks for the gift of life that God has given me today and uh, today I wanted to talk about living in a motivated lifestyle. How can we live in a motivated lifestyle? How can we be able to motivate ourselves? How can we find that energy to live a life that is full of inspiration and confidence? How can we live a life full of confidence? How can we be respectful to our own life? How can we respect the moment that we, we all have? First of all, living a focused life, having that in mind, and it really helps us identify one of the major projects or concept in attaining better results in our life. We are all living the same life. None of us is living a different life from the other. None of us is living a different model of life from another one. We are all living the same life. The energy that I'm using to live my life is not the same energy that you you are using to live your life. But we are all living the same life. We are all experiencing the same things today, tomorrow, the next, the day after tomorrow. This life is just the way it is. We should live a simple life. We should live a life of we should be free, yeah. We should not complicate life. We should not bring anything to distract our life. The moment that you have right now, it's so precious. This moment right now, it really reflects, it really talks a lot because this moment is you, yourself, is who you are. This is the moment that you have never experienced. Today is today. Today it has never been tomorrow. And today it has never been yesterday. So this day, what are you planning? What are you focusing on? What are you wasting that time? What are you thinking about? You see, joining me as I embark this journey of success. Simply, you need to be focused. You need to have a strong foundation to yourself. You need to understand that the life that you are living, this is your life. This is not Zach's life. This is not your um, boss's life. This is not your mom's life. This is not your wife's life. This is your life. And the life that you are living, you are the only controller of your life. When your life goes astray, you got no one to blame. When life goes good or better for you, we, we will all come and celebrate for you. But when you are low, when you are less motivated, when you are less inspired, when you are when, when, when you are in that situation of giving up, many people will flee from you. And that's when you understand that this life is only you alone. We don't share life. We don't share how we live. We can share a bed, we can share the same plate to take our meals, we can share the same phone, we can share the same, but we cannot share life. I'm living my own life, you're living your own life. We don't share life. So we should be content with, the, with, the, with this moment that God has enabled us today. This moment that we breathe. Can you imagine? Many people just wish to see this day and or start this day. But unfortunately, they didn't manage and we were there full of health, full of energy, full of breath, full of wisdom, and we're still playing with your life. 
brothers and sisters, please let's not play with life. Let's not complicate life. Let's not try and copy fiction and life. Let's not try and relate fantasy and life. Life is real. Life, life is now. Life, life is this moment. There's nothing like tomorrow. Tomorrow, no one knows what is going to happen. Tomorrow, no one goes knows what's going to come up in the news. Just the other day, I remember when I first heard that COVID-19 has reached our country. It was just a day, just one day. We wake, we woke up and learned that COVID has came up and it has been declared a pandemic. So unfortunate. It really changed how many people live. It frustrated so many people. It it even brought some people in an extent of giving up. But we should be prepared living a determined life. We should be prepared living a focused life because this is a this is our life. This is the life that God has given us, and we were given life free of charge, and no one should cost you for living your life. No one should try and change the life that you're living. You should live the best of yourself. You should not copy somebody else's life. We all unique. Try and create your own masterpiece. Try and create your own brand. Try and understand yourself. Try and know and analyze your weaknesses. Try and know and analyze your strength. Before you start, you, before you start trusting Zach, trust first yourself. Know yourself. Know your life. Know your direction. Know your purpose. Create that faith into you. Practice it until it comes a natural state. I really love you guys and um, my prayer is we are going to be focused and we are going to use this precious moment to live the best of, our life, of ourselves. Let's not copy the life of other people. Let's not complicate our life to fit other people. Let us concentrate in living the best of our state. I thank you all. I thank those who have been engaging with me since I started this channel. And uh, I really, as we go through, we are going to share some experiences with you. And uh, just feel free to share your thoughts at the comment section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. You know, you are there to make me strong. It's through you, it's through your, engage, your engagement. I'm also getting a lot of motivation through the way I see people commenting, I see the subscription going up. It really motivates me, it really inspires me. So let's join hands and live together. Let's support each other when uh, you hear something that it's not right, when you see something that's not good, please let's try and help each other. We are living a world of wickedness. Every corner in the world, there are, there are a lot of trouble, there are a lot, lot of injustice, there are, a lot of, there are a lot of things happening in the world. But when we come together, change will come. And this change is what we are all, is, is what we are all aiming. Growth and change goes handy. For you to grow, you must change. You need to foster change in your life so that you can grow. If you cannot change, you cannot grow. You need to change in your mind perception. You need to change on your, on your focus. You need to change on your daily doings. You need to change on your routines for you to grow. So, I love you guys. Thanks for your time. And uh, I wish you all well.